everyone, Dr. Chris here with Sports Chiropractic, and we're working on Dr. Todd Rodman here today. So Todd just got out of the massage room with our awesome uh, therapist, Jackie, and as you can see with all the marks all over his back right now, he just got cupping done. So what we're doing right now, we're trying to look at the effects of cupping and what it does to the tissue underneath it, because you can see all the dark marks, but are they actually doing anything? So right now we're doing some ultrasound. So if you come over here and we try to show you what's going on in the ultrasound, you can see how I have it over the dark marks on Todd right there. You can, we're gonna show you what the ultrasound is. So basically this is all muscle that you're gonna see down here, but what we're looking at is all the way at the top, and this is still part of something called the integumentary system. We're looking at the, essentially the epidermis and the dermis of the skin. So you see, notice the thickness of it, and you can kind of just kind of follow this line. So as I start to come off of it, you'll start to see like a slanting line right here. So now we're coming off the actual cupping mark itself, and it thins out. So what's that showing is that we have an increased amount of blood flow to it. So right now what we have going on there, there's increased uh, fluid going to the area. In this case, we have blood flow. And what happens there, what that's gonna do, it show that there's actually some work being done. There was some suction going on the tissue. And it's gonna create some separation between both the skin and this area down here called the fascia. And what we're trying to do with the cupping is to actually separate the uh, dermis and, uh, from the fascia so that we can actually get more of a glide in the tissue. And that area that you see right there is where the glide would have happened. So what this is doing, it's gonna help Todd in all his aches and pains from working out many two days in a row <laughs> so that he can actually start to feel a lot better. And how the cupping feel? Um, I went in and I was uh, had an acute flare up of back pain this morning. I couldn't touch my toes um, to put my own socks on. And uh, after the session with Jackie, I feel no pain and I was able to do everything. Um, so subjectively, I feel better. And then objectively, looking underneath the skin, we can see why. So uh, it's increasing the ability of those layers to slide, um, which makes you basically feel looser. So. Uh, just a little bit of research here on why cupping works um, and some of the other therapies here as well that do a very similar idea um, mm -hmm. but it's very cool to see it on the ultrasound and um, understand it what it looks like from the inside out